not an extension to SMART, we have got a algorithm called as ADASIN. So it is very similar to SMART with a little difference. So as I told you earlier in case of SMART, what we are trying to achieve, uh, we are doing randomly picking a class a sample from the minority class in the initially and then eventually uh, picking out its k nearest neighbor. In case of ADASIN, the main focus is that uh, certain points that are not in cluster with other minorities. So for example, if you look into this diagram, assume that this particular point, just follow my cursor, is also blue. So all the blue points are here, but one blue point is in the middle of the yellow ones. So in that case, what ADASIN wants to stay is that uh, more weightage should be given to the point which is present in a circulated environment, which is not present with other minority classes because uh, such a sample would be the hardest to determine. So what we would be doing uh, in this particular case, we would be assigning weights to each of the minority class samples that we have got. And then eventually depending upon the weights, they would be picked up randomly. Depending, so it's basically a weighted probability that we would be giving to pick up the minority sample. And then eventually the rest of the process remains the same as for SMART. So we pick up a point, weighted point, then we chose its k nearest neighbors. We pick up a random k nearest neighbor and we interpolated the point. So the only difference between SMART and ADASIN is how you pick up the first point, the random point that we are talking about from the minority class. In case of SMART, it is random. In case of ADASIN, it is weighted. Now, how are these weights assigned? This is the most important part. So basically, it calculates the density distribution of the minority class samples. It is done by finding the ratio of majority class samples to the minority class samples amongst the k nearest neighbor of each minority class. A little tricky to understand. So basically, for example, if I pick up a point, say A, and k equals to 5, so I would be considering all the 5 points that are nearest to k and not just the minority ones. And then I will be calculating the ratio uh, of majority class samples upon minority class samples. So this would be a little easy to understand. Assume that k equals to 7 in this case for point A, which has two minority classes and five majority classes. So the ratio would be 2.5 for point B, assume the minority is just one and six are majority in its k nearest neighbor. So uh, the ratio would be six. Now the weights can be assigned by normalizing these ratios, nothing else. So for point A, the weight would become 0.3 because 2.5 upon 6 plus 2.5. 6 is this particular ratio, 2.5 is this ratio. And for B, the weight would become 0.7. So in this particular case, B would be given more weightage. So there are more chances that B would be picked up and then eventually we would be interpolating more points from B as compared to A. Because this particular distribution suggests that B is in a circulated environment as compared to A. So this is how ADASIN works, the weights are assigned and then eventually everything remains similar to SMART.